Hello everybody. This is still Wednesday. Sorry. I am a little bit sleepy and I'm tired. And I probably don't look the best. I have been hurting. So yes, I've cried a little bit with it. So this is still Wednesday the 10th of May 2017 at 7.08 p.m. My family's going to church. I could not make it to church. I wanted to try to see if I could get some more of these videos knocked out. The behind videos since I was what I call a wall. Um... Let me pull up my little calendar here because I like to go by it and tell y'all dates. Hope y'all can hear me. I'm kind of talking low because I'm tired and sleepy and hurting. <laughs> I don't need to go to sleep though until later tonight when they get home from church. Because then I'd wake up and be up all night, you know. Alright, I'm trying to think. Okay, so, Thursday, April the 27th, you know, before I went AWOL, was the last normal video I had put up that day. Regular video, whatever you call it. So, and I may have done, did this in one of my videos, I don't know, but since that day, it's been Friday, Saturday of April, Sunday of April, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday of May, Sunday and Monday, Tuesday. Lord, it's been that long? Gee, many whiz. I need to go back and recount that. Alright, Thursday the 27th. So, one week. Almost two weeks. Tomorrow will be two weeks. Thursday the 11th. Today's Wednesday the 10th. But, that's not the whole time that I've been gone. I started back this week on Monday. So, other than my two update videos... You know, in between there, letting y'all know what was going on. It was, from there to there is one week. And then one, two, three days. So a week and three days. And then Monday the 8th, that next day is when I started back my videos. So a week and three days, so that don't sound too bad. But anyway, so I was kind of trying to give y'all oh, updates on what all we had done since while I was gone. A wall, I like to call it. Um. So Saturday night, I'm trying to think. Let me go to my. videos so I can look at my videos to see exactly what I have put up and what I hadn't. I'm so sorry y'all this is a slow video but I wanted to get these done and over with so I could just try to hopefully go back to my normal videos. Alright. Um, I can't concentrate very well right now. I guess I shouldn't even try to do this. Okay, 
my light just dimmed on there. I seen it out of the corner of my eyes. Saturday, but I gotta figure out what Saturday it was. This thing that I'm trying to tell y'all about on this video happened on a Saturday. So, Thursday the 27th. Was it that Friday night that I told y'all? About Katie cooking for us Friday night and then that next night, Saturday night. So I'm guessing that was, um... 27, 28, 29, the 29th of April, I guess. If I've got my dates right. Anyway, a Saturday night, okay. <laughs> we went to, we were invited to a church family's house for supper. Our friends. Joyce and her husband... I guarantee you this is my worst video I've ever made, probably. Can't think, can't concentrate. Joyce and her husband, what is his name? Does it even really matter? No, not really. Um... They invited us to their house for supper Saturday night. So we went. We had fun and enjoyed ourselves. <sighs> Joyce is... I think she's 30-something. So they're younger than us. She is the... Do not yawn again. Let me get some more words out first, please. <clears throat> Remember the young mother that has the two young girls? I think it's Samantha and Molly are their names. Samantha is 12. Molly is... Eight or nine, something like that. Um, when we lived in Lacombe, they came to my house and crafted with me. And Joyce brought her mama and her, Joyce's grandmother, which would have been her mama's mama, was supposed to come too, but she had been sick that day and didn't get to come. Anyway, they had came to my house and crafted with me for a little bit. So that's who this Joyce is that invited us to eat with them. And she had roast beef and potato salad cooked. Now, I think I'm right on that. It was either potato salad or it was potatoes in the crock pot with the roast beef. I can't really remember. She had rice. You put the gravy over the rice. She had green beans. And honey, her green beans. Mmm. Elizabeth cooks our green bean. Well, I do too. I just... But a lot of times, I'll just open mine in a bowl and heat it up in the microwave. And when I do do it in a pot, I mean, all we know to do is put a few seasonings in it and maybe a little butter and boil it down. When we cook green beans here, it don't taste nothing like Joyce's green beans tasted that night. I loved them. So I asked her how she did them. Of course, now I don't remember. You don't know what I mean. Albert might remember. I told him to remember so we could tell Elizabeth and try to fix them here at home that way. But man, they were so good. Um, she even fixes, fixed a dessert. Now, granted, the dessert wasn't my kind of dessert. Dessert to me, nothing else exists except for chocolate. This was nothing chocolate. And it was something that I really don't like. But I didn't want to be rude and say, no, I don't like that and not eat it, you know. 
So I went ahead and gave it a try. And what it was, I don't like apple pie. I don't like cooked apples, okay? And I think it's not even really, yeah, the taste is not that great. But I think it's more so the texture feel of it that I really don't like. But this wasn't apple pie. She called it apple dumplings. And yeah, the cooked apples was in there, and I didn't really, you know, prefer that or like that. But I ate some. And that dumpling part of it? Mmm, 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 mmm. Talk about some kind of good. That was some kind of good. So, yes, we did that, and I wanted to tell y'all about that. Um, also, I wanted to let you know, after another yawn... Come on, get it over with. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> um, I know y'all, I know I've said it on my videos before, back when we lived in Lacombe. Not the day they came and crafted with me, but one day when Joyce and her husband, the girls was with them too, had come over um, her husband, Joey, that's his name, that's his name, that's his name, was getting some bags of cedar chips from Albert because they were going to fix up their yard. Oh, and they have a beautiful house, by the way, and they're trying to sell it, and they're going to, they're trying to buy them some more land that has this little shed shack thing on it. And they want to add on to that just something real small at first and live in it to pay bills off. And then they're going to build them another big fine home on that land. And I think they're crazy from going to, from the big house they got to that little old bitty shack shed add-on deal. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> so, um... But this Joyce is the one, that day that they came by to get the cedar chips to fix up their yard, she got to, we were sitting in my living room there talking, and she had got to see, she seen my records that I had in my stereo. And um, she got to looking through them. <gasps> and she said she loved records and all that, and she asked me if I had ever thought about getting them you know, put on to CD. And I told her, I said, yes, I have wanted to do that, and also our movies, you know, the, um, the big, thick tapes that has your home. We did home movies and our vacations and stuff when my girls was little. We've got several of those on the, it's not eight track tape, because that's the one you listen to songs on before the cassette tape. Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. Thick, long tape. You put movies and home movies or the regular movies they make is on them and cartoons and such. Anyway, I can't think of what they're called. I've also, since they don't make VCRs anymore and everything's went to CDs, I had been wanting to change them over to CDs or DVDs, whatever they're called, so that we... Because we haven't watched our home videos like that in our vacations for a long time. And I'd like to see them again. Um, and be able to one day show them to Gracie, you know, and all that. So I had been wanting to do that and I told her that. But uh, she said she had the thing and could transfer my records to CD. And asked me if I wanted her to do that. And I said, yes, I would love it. I asked her how much she would charge. She said nothing. So she got my records that day, and I know I've mentioned it to y'all before. And um, she said, um, now she did warn me, and she told me that day, she said, now I don't, I just want to let you know, I'm not the type of person, I don't get in a hurry to do this, do things and finish it up, so it may take me a little while. Stupid me, you know, I'm naive and don't know nothing, and 
Even though she warned me, I didn't think it would really be that long or end the way it ended. But, um, I told her, I said, oh, that's okay. I'm not in no hurry, you know, just whenever you can get it done. So I let her take my records and, um, she kept them and 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 she kept them. And I started, you know, at first I tried not to mention them at church, but then I started mentioning them at church. Have you got my records done yet? Have you been able to do that? No, not yet. Blah, 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 blah. On and on and on and on with that. Forever. And I, I don't like that. I'm not that type of person. I like to have them, even though I might not can listen to them because my record players tore up. But still yet, I want them here with me. It's, it's Benny Ray in me is what it is. That's my daddy, for the ones of you that don't know. We like to have our things with us and around us. So, um, I finally kept on with her at church about it, and I, I was in a, I was nice. I did it in a kind of a picking, laughing, joking way, but still, yet I was doing it too. You know, letting her know I want my records. Hurry up! And I even one night at church mentioned it to her husband. She wasn't around. And him and Albert was talking, and I walked up, so I even, you know, mentioned it to him, asked him if she got my records done yet. Told her I was going to start staying on her about my records. Tell her she needs to get my records done, you know, in a picking kind of way. So I'm thinking he said something to her to it about it. But um, when we went to eat that night, she gave me my records. She never did get to get them put on the CD. So that part is sad, but she said their machine had messed up, and she wasn't able to, and they had to get it fixed, but she knew she'd had them a long time, and I was wanting them back, so she gave them to me that night, which I'm very thankful for that. So, as y'all know, I've told y'all before, Katie turned my stereo around. This is the bottom, okay, it's two different parts. It's the stand, and... Then the record player, which is a, it's a record player, it's a radio, it's a, it's a cassette player, and it's a CD player. So four things in one. But because Gracie would go there and pull my records out, Katie turned the bottom part around so the shelves is against the wall. So the records she gave me, let me zoom in. It's right there. It's stacked up right there. I just, uh, my records, when she gave them back, I just came in and laid them there. I didn't bother to turn my stereo around or the bottom part, the shelves, to stick them back in it. <laughs> that shows how lazy I am. I don't care. <laughs> Especially right now, the way I feel. So anyway, that's the story, and I'm sticking to it about us going that Saturday night to eat supper with Joyce and them and it was good and we enjoyed ourselves and had fun. Oh, I had made a two different little uh, pocket litter kits for the girls. They had loved making those cards when they came that day and crafted with me. They made ATCs and I had told them about the pocket letters. <clears throat> Excuse me, a burp came and I couldn't stop it. So sorry. <laughs> so, I had took uh, two brown lunch sacks and I doodled on the sacks and then inside the sack which I had gotten another bag and different little bags too because I put little beads and little flowers and ribbons and uh, then I put them some cards that they could actually decorate over the you know for the base of the either ATC or if they put it in pocket letter and I put a pocket letter sleeve in there in the brown bag so I fixed them up a little kit for that and took it to give to the girls and they wasn't there that night they had they were out with friends so I didn't get to see them and give it to them and see them open it and maybe explain to them but I told their mama and they told me at church later that they loved it and thank you and I told them, you know, you don't have to do the pocket letter if you don't want to. I just wanted to make a little kit. You can use all of that for whatever and however you want to, you know. But they liked it, so. Okay, y'all, I did not really mean for this video to be this long. I'm trying to get all these done. So I've got about really two more. Yeah, really two more videos to do. And I think I'll be caught up on all of that. 
So I'm out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm gone. Toodaloo.